good evening. This is Ain't That Some News with your very, very cool anchor person, Barry Moore. Coming at you tonight with the sweet, sweet political talk of the week ending February 6th, 2021. Oh, yeah. According to Time Magazine from February 4th, President Trump was right in suspecting a conspiracy behind the scenes of the election. A veritable shadow campaign, says Time. An alliance between left-wing activists and business titans whose work touched every aspect of the election. They pressured social media companies to prevent the spread of right-wing lies. Lies like President Trump claiming for months that the mail-in ballots were a democratic plot and the election would be rigged. According to Time, This well-funded cabal of powerful people working behind the scenes to influence perceptions, change rules and laws, steer media coverage and control the flow of information, were not rigging the election. They were fortifying it. Man, ain't that some news. We now take you to completely unaffiliated talking head Tucker Carlson for what is sure to be an unrelated story. Tuck. This show has obtained exclusively evidence that Bank of America, the second largest bank in the country with more than 60 million customers, is actively but secretly engaged in the hunt for extremists in cooperation with the government. Bank of America is, without the knowledge or the consent of its customers, sharing private information with federal law enforcement agencies. Bank of America effectively is acting as an intelligence agency, but they're not telling you about it. In the days after the January 6th riot at the Capitol, Bank of America went through its own customers' financial and transaction records, a lot of them. Now, these were the private records of Americans who had committed no crime. People who, as far as we know, had absolutely nothing to do with what happened at the Capitol on January 6th. But at the request of federal investigators, Bank of America searched its databases looking for people who fit a specific profile. Here's what that profile was, and we are quoting. Customers confirmed as transacting either through bank account, debit card, or credit card, purchases in Washington, D.C. between January 5th and January 6th. Number two, purchases made for hotels, Airbnb, RSVPs in Washington, Virginia, or Maryland after January 6th. Number three, any purchase of weapons or at a weapons-related merchant between January 7th and their upcoming suspected stay in the D.C. area around inauguration day. And four, airline-related purchases sixth, sixth, since January 6th. That's remarkably broad. Any purchases of anything in the city of Washington, D.C. Any overnight stay anywhere in the three-state area that spans hundreds of miles. Any purchase, not simply of legal firearms, but instead anything bought from a, quote, weapons-related merchant, T-shirts included. And then any airline-related purchases. Not just flights to Washington, flights to anywhere, to Omaha, to Thailand. That is a very, very wide net. (laughs) Looks like the democracy has been sufficiently protected against our constitution, Tucker. And in local news, a friend of the family gifted the clown children some clown toys and circus balloons. So obviously balloon hats were a thing that needed to happen. And Apprentice the Clown decided it was a good day to learn how to make a doggy. So good. 
that's the news for now. Y'all take care and know that Jesus loves you infinitely. Unlikely as that may seem at times. We'll see you next week. Same smooth channel. Different word salad.